The language you speak, whether it's English or Mandarin or French or German, is one of the simplest languages in the world. Now, I don't mean to say that your language is simple in general, but it is if I compare it to the languages spoken by these children here. Languages like Kalalagoya, spoken in Australia, or Tariana in the Amazon. So what do I mean when I tell you that your language is simple? Well, let's try to describe yesterday's weather in English. I take our word for rain, and I add ed on the end to make rain. In Kalalagoya, it's so much more complex than this. I have to use a completely different word for rained, depending on how far back in the past it happened. So there's one word for rained for if it happened five minutes ago, and quite another for if it happened an hour ago. And in Tariana, it's even more complex than this. There's a different word for rained, depending on how I know this information. So did I see it rain, did I hear it rain, or did somebody tell me about it? By looking at features like this, I can have an idea if a language is simple or relatively complex. And what interests me is what causes the variability in language complexity I see around the world. Now, thousands of languages have been analysed, and it's suggested that it's not random, but instead the social structure of the people who speak a language can affect how complex their language is. The most striking suggestion is that the more people who speak a language, the simpler that language tends to be. So perhaps one of the reasons that Tariana is so complex is due to it only having 150 speakers. So what do I do? Well, first, I'm looking to see if there's any real evidence for a connection between population and other social structures and language complexity. And I'm doing this primarily by the means of experimentation. I teach people new languages. Sometimes real languages, sometimes even artificial alien languages I've made up for the purposes of the experiment. By seeing how people learn and then try to communicate with what they've learned, I can have an idea of the factors which cause languages to become more simple or more complex in a more natural setting. But even if I do find evidence for such a connection between society and language, then this still doesn't explain why. It's been suggested that a large language like Mandarin attracts many adults wanting to learn it as a second or foreign language. People like you and me find it difficult. We make mistakes, and perhaps these mistakes start a simplification process. But if this is true, then why are these smaller languages so complex in the first place? Could there be something about the complexity which children find easy and helps them learn? My goal is to answer questions like this and so say more about why people speak the way they do. Thanks.